Uh, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the next episode. I think I'm going to be ending it soon here. I at least want to get the right run after this. So I need to go in and sell some stuff, try to get some thermally better gear. And I think I'm going to try to sleep to, like, regenerate my health and fix a couple problems my cares have. You can probably see that my screen looks fuzzy. It's not a default with my game. It's not like I have the shittiest version of Skyrim. It's actually that, uh... Why are you running in place? What are you, related to the courier? I have a message for you. Your head, it's your hands only. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Enough. Oh, we're finally back. But hey, I got stuff to sell this time, so it's good. I didn't really get to kill too many people, but or do things, but... On the plus side, we got a good amount of loot. The sooner you trinkets, odds and ends, that yes. sort of thing. All right, let's get these baskets out of my inventory. Same with this. Thank you. Oh no, 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 no. no. Ingredients. Let's get this out of here. Ah, shit. No, I need that back. Oh, it sells for one now. Oh, you dick. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's try to make some more money. He has zero now. So what I want to do is, like, I want to kind of recycle our gold here. Uh, that one gets me more warmth. But I, I kind of want, like, individual armor pieces that give me more warmth. And then we'll kind of see where to go from there. At least they get to see my stats instead of mainly having to... Oh, and then the hat does it. Less armor, but... I can be warmer. So, I'll take it. Let's see what else we got. Fur boots. Okay, I'll take one. Let's see what else we got. Might as well... And here's the major robes, which I don't really want. The rest of this stuff doesn't really help. Alright. So let's go compare. This. This. This should make me a little bit better in that snowy environment. We'll figure out as we go. Don't let my trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Take his gold once more. So that's those for 16, that one's 3, 3, 3. I need something that sells for like 2. So I'm not gonna let him take my shit. That one sells for 3. Eh, yeah, fuck it. He has 2 go, it doesn't matter. I almost want to buy a better weapon that's a one handed. But I don't know. Iron Mace. Eh, that's nothing better anyway. All right then. On a plus side, though, we're warmer. So that's a good thing. Mar, don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Yes, I am sickly. Uh, but yeah, let's go talk to the uh, smithy guy. If it's, yeah, I think he's about to go to bed. Let's see how much health we got. Damn. <laughs> That stupid magic meter messes me up. I wish that my health bar was on at all times, but it doesn't come on until you absolutely need it. So like basically if a bandit were to try to walk up, he would final kill cam me all the time. Take what you need, my friend. The finest weapons and armor. Yeah, I'm sure. Alright, so you though, I can sell you some stuff. I kind of want to give some of this to uh, my follower, but as of right now, money is the biggest thing. So, uh, that can go. This is 14. That's 14. Let's get rid of that. Don't need two of those. And now we can see what armor makes me more uh, warm. What do we got, man? What do you got? Ooh, okay. Steel armor. Value is 847. And it's the only thing that gives me more warmth, which is nice though, because it has some fur and it got some better protection, I think. Look at that, armor rating goes up. Nice. 
Let's trade him. I'll sell him my other armor. I for that. May the gods watch over that way I can make some of my money back. Because uh, I went down quite a bit there. Uh, let's see. Let's sell you that. Yep. Fair trade. Aye. So I basically got somewhat of the amount of uh, power I started off with. But eh. Decent. Let's go to sleep. I want this Damn, time I want to sleep for twenty four hours. What can I do for you, friend? <coughs> Let's see what happens. I never actually slept yet on a uh, max difficulty plus survival. <coughs> I imagine I'm gonna need to get food though. So I'll probably have to buy some food from the uh, merchant dudes because I went through my food already. Yeah, a whole food stock I already went through and used it. Oh, geez, because we had cabbages, there was meat in there, there was soups, there was all kinds of shit, but I panicked and used them all because I was trying to heal. Let's see. Yeah, my health is full, but I'm hungry now. Did you really see a dragon? But Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of time. Alright. Well, there's something that we can do, though, for hunger. Uh, we can go quickly run over to right run. There's a bunch of crops over there. I could eat some of the food that's in front. So I really just need Fainal to follow me. Cool. So yeah, we got some things to do. We'll just stick to the main highway. Get my weapon ready, because I imagine we're going to need it. Uh, but yeah. We will uh, continue to carry whatever armor is the warmest. If we end up in a warm environment, I'm sure I'll pay for it then. Yep, yeah, anytime I find shrooms and stuff, I want to make sure I pick them up. Because this is basically my money maker at the moment. And I think I can eat these for um, food, I suppose. They don't help that much, but... I mean, hey, food's food, I suppose. I'm sure I can kill the elk if we get a lot of food. I think eating raw food fucks you up. Just like an arc. But like I think on this game though, in survival mode, like we just we take so much taxing stuff. To be honest, this is more realistic than arc in the sense of food. Oh shit, I have no healing goodies. Uh oh. Oh shit. Hey no. Have a problem. No. Do something, bro. Pain no. Pain no. Ah. I'm gonna die. Oh shit, there's another one. <laughs> oh no. Hi, oh, yeah. it's a good thing I saved. I got killed by a fucking dog. Ah, oh, jeez. Maybe I should buy some food. Or actually, maybe I should buy potions. You know what? We might be able to just run right by all day. <laughs> There is actually somewhat of a way to do it. It's kind of annoying. But I'm going to try to parkour around. I know this is going to use it some of my stamina because we're hungry. I think jumping actually uses stamina on this type of playthrough. But yeah, I'm gonna stay away from that side. <laughs> but hey, maybe there's more uh, plants to pick on this type of area. I know that we have to jump into waterfall coming up here. Ah, shit! There's another one. Ain't no. Oh, is he fighting them? I might be able to help. Since he pulled the aggro, we can definitely take him on now. Oh, shit! Ha! Alright. I'm saving. I wonder if that Imperial would fight the, uh... The wolf that's on this side. It's actually... Let's go and try to help. So I'm actually curious now. Dude, what are you doing, man? There you go. Oh no. 
Nice. Yeah, get him, buddy. I don't know who you are, but I got your back, bro, I think. No. No sign of him. Isn't there another wolf here? Hello there, friend. Ah. Afraid not. But uh, why to perform the best tales are those of adventure. Uh, Who the life of adventure. Some may find their in observing and capturing the epic uh, for a generous fellow traveler. Uh, course, what would you like to hear? Well, what was the Eater question again? Two Imperials request that one. Yeah, I want to hear what that is. Oh, is he not going to play? We drink to our youth. Today is come and gone, for the age of aggression is just about done. And then I died we to a wolf in a one shot, one bite. And then he fucked me so hard and got me Charles. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings, on the day of your death, <laughs> we'll drink and we'll sing. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives, uh, and we uh, sob and guard uh, back to the every uh, one of us uh, dies. One of us dies. Uh. But this land is uh, uh, ours, uh, and we we'll see it uh. wiped clean of the scourge that has sullied <laughs> This really our feels like I'm playing this for the first time again. This is awesome. Hello there, friend. Hello there, Lucky friend. That yeah, was well worth the 25 world. gold. Did he say hard? Cool. Let's go ahead and save that way. I don't have to do that again. That was actually a much better route going that way. I think there's more wolves later on, but I think that there's Imperials guiding a dude to a place here. I really hope that there's not three dogs, because I am fucked. If that is the case, I don't feel like trying to run away. I also hope that that white run car is running about, because he'll probably kill the dogs. I can sell their hide, so I can maybe buy some warmer armor, so I can travel to the snow and do missions. Because most of this map is snow. Skyrim, after all. So, I mean, <laughs> there's that. I know that if I go down that road, it's a saber tooth. And I'm not ready for that. Uh uh. <laughs> no. <sighs> this rain sucks. It feels like actual rain. Like I said, you're very cold now. Shit sucks. Aren't I still hungry, though? I was one of us hungry last I saw. Yeah, can I just loot these? Are they all empty? Hey, that increases food point, right? Cool. I just hope it did something. I ain't gonna meat barrel. I mean, last I saw, it said I was hungry. So I'm just trying to be careful. <laughs> Don't know how well this will do for me, but we'll do my best. More mead. Fill my belly with mead. I actually wonder if you can get drunk on survival mode. That'd be kind of funny. Nothing in the back, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I can go inside both of these. I forget which one has some special stuff, though. Oh, oh that one's the brewery for that Thieves Guild mission, right? Cool. I could have sold those, but I just want to watch out for my food, though. I know that there's a merchant in here, so maybe I can sell him some stuff. You lost. Mm. Oh, a piece of skin on my finger leaking out. You, you want to buy something? Go find Sabjorn. Otherwise, piss off. <laughs> Welcome. Take a look. I have nothing to sell to you. 
300 points of hunger. Damn. I'll take it. What else gets me a shit ton of points? This one sells for 15. This one sells for 12, but gets me 200 points. Well, it's gonna be a shit ton. This one sells for 15. Let's get this one. All right, let's see what happens if I eat that. Uh, until next time. You feel better, but still peckish. What the Hunting fuck? Brute. Take a look. Did I be full after that one? Let's buy these. At least I was watching out for my mm -hmm. food, though. Ah, now we're well fed. Okay. After me wasting so you much money. Sample. If you're looking to purchase any meat, bum, 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 speak bum, to bum, the owner. I think once the thieves kills takes over this place, you can uh, uh loot most of this. Mm. Too bad I can't steal this right now. I think yeah, he's following me. Oh, we're a small metery. We're a small meter. And then for now, there's something I want to try after I Malice is save. teaching me everything he knows about. I have uh, two ideas. Okay, I, I want to try to talk to this guard and see what happens. Wait, I know you. There's no mistake. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your crime. I don't have time for this, do you? You know what? You're not worth that. <laughs> but we do need to get that so I can get into the town easier. Uh, let's do my arrows. Uh, I'm about to go. Be some other guards, problem. We're gonna help them fight that giant so I can join the companions. I'm pretty sure just getting one shot in helps. First person mode. Yeah. As long as I don't hit them. Should be alright. A little bit closer. A giant is definitely one of the main apex predators though in this especially survival mode. And yeah, we'll help you guys kill this giant here. Oh shit. I should probably be careful, he might come after me. I wish I had the aim of the NPCs, because he's almost dead. Oh shit, he's moving. Come on, man. Yeah, get his ass. Yeah, we got him. Hell yeah. You look super. Come to Villa Basker and be a companion. Oh. You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield, brother. Yeah, it's not like I, uh. It's all the way on the other side of the map, shooting arrows. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. What's a weapon? And sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Uh, can I join you? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in your Vasco. The old I'll man's see you real quick. I want to chop this. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him. Good grow nail skin thing. I'm here to help. Let to see when this happens. Sometimes I gotta pluck it with my teeth and then I end up bleeding. I don't know if you guys get this a lot too, but maybe it's because I chew my fingers. It's a, it's a habit. I feel maybe when I was a kid I was nervous or something and I kept doing it. But since I do it, it's like I get these weird bits of my nail or something that go with a certain angle and I go, oh, okay, I want to make the skin even. And I start picking at that and then uh, just one stupid thing after another. But anyway, let's get a bunch of food. In case I get hungry, now I have food. That's what all these crops are so good for. It's like anytime you pass by, you just say, Because <gasps> I remember on regular Skyrim, not survival mode, I would use these to help heal my character during fights. Besides regeneration and 
using um, healing potions and stuff and healing with magic. Also, since I usually use magic to abuse healing or to abuse leveling up, um, a magic being at a standstill, I can't really farm my XP all too well. I thought I was, but with all these conditions on health, it, uh, it changes my whole <laughs> uh, well-being or what I'm going to be doing. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, get as much food and stuff as possible. I definitely want to keep finding armors to get. Stuff that will make me warmer. This way I can travel any kind of condition. And if any kind of armor is, you know, hindering my uh, warmth, I will be sure to change up what I'm doing immediately. Hello, sir. We'll eventually uh, talk to one of the guards so I can get into the city easy. But for now, let's just gather up all I can. Uh, is, is that me getting cold? That's why I got that fancy health bar thing going. Some bitch. Let's see how my health is. Looks like it's a full bar. Or maybe I just have full health out of the reduced health. Ah. Empty. Okay. But uh, yeah, once I explore a little bit more of this, I just want to see if there's any other loot I can get before I call it quits. So we stole the cabbages. Did I take stuff from that? I think we did. Yeah, we went from that one to the other one. Nothing in the tree trunk, I think. Lavender. Sometimes though you get lucky you find special goodies in a tree somewhere and now we're really cold. You would think that with all that extra warmth I just got I would be fine, but no, Skyrim's a dangerous place. Eee. That's what I'm hoping I can sell stuff here and get some awesome shit. But yep, until I can travel the snow at ease, I won't be able to go into those special dungeons and get my stuff. So I think the more warm territories are definitely going to be like, here, we'll take my map. Uh, I would want to travel west maybe, because this is kind of swampy, kind of, there's a couple dungeons here and there. The Forsworn area is kind of high up, it's probably going to be cold, so I'll probably stay away from that. So I think my best bet would be towards more thaw and solitude and do exploration throughout these areas. Uh, but yeah, for now, we're going to get everything I can get in Whiterun, and we'll worry about the rest later. Yeah. And it'll definitely be a while before I can kill giants. I think I'd rather get that ritual stone thing where I can reanimate stuff, and then if I find, like, a dead giant, I can just have it travel with me. <laughs> but yeah, until then, I ain't doing shit. I'll stick to the basics for now. Yep, I just need to level up. I need to grind a bit. Get some more health. Stuff and things. Yep. Uh, for now. We need. We need food. All, all we can get. Oh, we're already cold? Really? That easily? Stupid ass. Super much rotten here. Nothing. Oh boy. Time for barrels. I'll take that. Alright. I see. We'll check these things. Nice. I always forget how easy it is just to get supplies. Sell that thing's locked. What time is it? 12 a.m. And I guess the Khajiit caravan is not here. I remember the first time I came to this place, uh, the Khajiits were here. <laughs> Maybe it's because I did that uh, Bill's Reap thing first. Um, but yep, I just want to talk to that guard here so I can get into the city easy. We'll just go, yep, I'm a prisoner. Yep, I stole stuff. Yep, you know me. I'm sorry. 
I'll pay for my sins. Just give me a free pass into the city. Wait, I know you. You an adventurer who had no arrow in the knee. That's no mistake. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your crimes. <sighs> well, that's the man took me to do. You're going to rot in the Dragon's Reach. Ha! <laughs> that's funny. I'm gonna serve my time. I actually wonder what um what happens when you do stuff uh, with survival. Let's see, your equipment can be found at Percy Lunch, just somewhere in jail. Oh shit, there's a whole ass dude. No, oh, that's great. So there is a way to escape, but I ain't doing that. There is warm here. That's the prison is all well kept. It will serve my time, and it'll put me right in front of Dragon's Reach. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, but a little bit here, I'm gonna take a break. But yeah, as you can see, though, with survival mode being a main factor now, like this playthrough is gonna take a long time. Oh shit! Damn, famished and weary, but I'm warm. Okay. Let's see, 18 points hunger. You feel better, but you're still hungry. Come on now. Still? Ah, there we go. Nice. Cool. And I don't think that we get a house car or Lydia until, uh, we do some shit. I think Lydia, though, is slightly stronger. But she's, uh, <gasps> indestructible follower. They say Unlike. Brigands I can handle. What's this talk of dragons? The world's gone mad, I say. Uh, at some point, it will be able to take all of this stuff, too. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruf is not receiving visitors. As House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl, or whatever you have. I'm starting to think. I want to hear what he has to say. Okay. What's up, Jarl? It's been a while. What's this about Riverwood being in danger? A dragon attack Hogan. The smith, isn't he? Reliable, solid fellow. Not prone to flights of fancy. And you're sure Helgen was destroyed by a dragon? This wasn't some storm cloak raid gone wrong? I was there, I saw Dragon Bun Helgen. Ismir Irileth was right. Hmm. What do you say now, Prevent? Oh, he's gonna be like, oh, flash me. I don't think there's anything true, Yabaha. I hate this guy. My lord, we should send She's more logical, though. Once. It's a little bit immediate danger. untrustworthy, but right, she, she does that for a good reason. Provocation. I mean, I can be anybody. I could be a dude who's planning to assassinate the Jarl. So I mean, assume we're preparing to join all side and attack him. So let me see, do I have that shield? There we go. We got more stuff to sell. And in the White Run, there's tons of merchants here, so I definitely buy while a dragon burns my make a good amount of money. My people. Irileth, uh, send yep. a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, I think it'll take care of equipment when we uh, I'll return to my duties. Switch up point one. That would be best. Well done. You this is where Beach Rock's uh, barrel. You've done White Run <sighs> service. And I won't forget yeah. it. Here. It's kind of a new Make choice. A small token. There is another Let's go find But far. yeah, it's um. Oh, what's the word? Gar, my court wizard. I don't even know. <laughs> He's been looking into a uh, Oh yeah, yeah. Like the, we have a quest to already go there. Rumors of but. dragons. Wait a minute. So this pretty much just gives us two reasons to go to that barrel. This guy goes, I need to get a dragon stone. My name is Faringa. I think I found someone Oi, who can help you with your dragon Let's see if I can do anything on here. Go ahead. Oh, that's right. You need soul gems. Right. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let's fuck so with the old thinks oh. you can be of use to me. Oh, yes. He must be ref Yes. Well, 
When I say fetch, I really mean delve uh, into Where am I going? What am I fetching? Straight to the point, eh? <laughs> I, uh, go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Find this tablet, no doubt interred in the yeah, main chamber. I don't chamber. really want to talk about all so, that. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Oh, uh, cool. I can sell them this. Nice. I'll be able to get some more money out of that. Let's get that out of my inventory. And let's see what kind of armor he has. Anything warmer? No. Damn. All right. Off to Bleak Falls Barrow with you. At some point, though, when this quest goes through, uh, I'll be able to take most of this stuff. I think I already can. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I think since I uh, did some talking, I can take everything now. I think some books still were like forbidden, but even if I get put in prison, that's fine. Some of these things unlock quests, some of them unlock areas that we need to go to. It's all well and good. I just want to make money. <laughs> I'm going to be going to every fucking merchant. Just so I can get some better armor. I might get a better weapon too, I don't know. Yeah, Forbidden Legend. I think that's the Red Eagle Sword. Oh, Godur Legend. That's the, um... Draugr thing. I think Godur is like a tougher dra Draugr. Dry gear, whatever you want to call it. Stuff and things. Investigate the rooms of I got my home hummer. Okay. But yeah, I'm not gonna keep up updating my quest list. I'm gonna just keep reading books and taking all I can. Troll slay. I didn't think that they were gonna ally with me so soon. There's the red eagle. Yep. <laughs> Literally the thing I just talked about. How do we Nizriya? When you think about it, though, a lot of people are like, oh, like, Adamin came out of nowhere, like, to be honest, Adamin was probably still alive this whole time, he was just hiding. Oh, so that's stealing, huh? Okay. Oh, I can take all your books of knowledge, but God forbid oh, I touch your little I potions. I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Falls Barrow. No. It's alright. Alright, what do you got behind here, Fargar? More stuff I could take. Nice. I think what they're trying to say is, like, you know, I kind of live here. I'm staying here since I'm a honored guest. So it's like, yeah, like, whatever you need to use, you know, regular necessities, you know, you can take whatever and use it. We don't care. You need a bowl? Here's a bowl. But don't touch my fucking gems. <laughs> Which is pretty much where Fyangar comes in. But some things, though, are a little bit too important and you can't take them. Like, you know, for example, the cupboard would be ceiling. This I could take, though. Cool. Thanks for the money. And the ceiling, ceiling. Oh, but I can take that for some reason. I would think the plate would be worth more um, personal need than the other stuff, but alright. I'll take this. Mine, mine. Let's see what else you got. Ah, uh, cool. I can take the ale. I can take the Laffy Taffy. Nice. Ale, platter, carrots, gourd. I didn't even know you could eat a gourd. I'll take the plate. Because making money right now is honestly the biggest thing. Oh. There's some important stuff in there. <laughs> oh. I'm not touching that. Nope, I'm a good boy. At least for now. Like once I can start defending myself and I can fight guards and knock out important people, you know, I, I'm more of a reliable fighter. I can just take whatever I want. I can just walk in slow motion and just take everything. Because <laughs> as of right now, we're a little bit too weak, so I can't just up and do that. But once I can, I'm gonna take full advantage of that. We're gonna go through each and every town and loot everything. And Fight everybody, kill everybody. You know, whatever I can do without mods. And then once I'm bored enough and we beat the game and I'm tired of everything and being default, then I'll do mods. But for now, we're respecting Skyrim for what it is. Because it's such a good game. I mean, Oblivion is a great game too, but like Skyrim was like the next generation. I still wish that I could record me playing uh, the other Fallouts, but. 
I can't do that. I knew Vegas was pretty good. Fallout 3 is pretty good. Fallout 4 is really good. I mean, sure, Elder Scrolls Online is pretty good too, but it's not like officially. Doesn't feel like one of these games. So, I mean, this is single player. I don't know what's multiplayer, but you can't go as in detail and you can't be over encumbered because, you know, multiplayer bullshit logic and I hate that hey fuck it let's go upstairs for now I think there's a uh, a couple of things up top here but yeah sorry if this stuff is boring to some like this is survival gameplay so I need to do everything I can get to be strong so fuck you <laughs> I need to get everything. Potions, stuff to sell so I can get better armor. You know, I need to be able to survive uh, certain temperatures, certain enemies. You know. My character's tired. I heard a yawn. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, it made me yawn. I think some books still are stealing, they just don't really tell you. I mean, if a guard starts coming after me, then all right. I'm sorry. And now, since we're semi-affiliated with these guys, I want to take everything I can get. And then we'll start going to all the merchants and trying to sell stuff. Like, we go to the regular ones, we talk to Yusoda, you know, we'll grab up all the quests that we can't get as we pass by. Yeah, but I'm unlocking areas too, which is good. End quest. What's in this end table? Hey, more stuff. This one. I don't want to open that because that's probably ceiling. I see an end table over here, though, two of them. I kind of want to go into here, but I'm going to save that spot for when I trap the dragon. For now, I ain't doing shit. And since I managed to pick up a bunch of stuff, I actually wonder like which one of these actually give us more uh, coding. Well, let's see if I already have it on. Because we got 131 warm rating right now, which is great. But we need more. A lot more. I'll take that, and I'll take that too. Uh, we need all the food we can get. Because health is important, but so is... Uh, other stuff. Food. Yeah. That's the other stuff I'm at. And I think I'm going to try to buy potions too once I sell enough. We should make enough money with all of this shit. I'm sure. Because some of these regular boots that barely even do anything give you like 40 gold. It says, but there ain't no guarantee to completely do that. Looks like my health is decent. Hello, Fallen Potion. Everything all right? Yeah. No lollygagging. <laughs> lollygagging, indeed. I almost want to go into the dungeon too, but I'm gonna stay away from that for now. I actually forgot that the dungeon was even right here, but I, that's kind of fucked up because if you escape from the dungeon, you're going right into the main court. You would have to be like maximum sneak to just get out of here, because you'd be going by the Yara himself, if he imprisoned you, he'd be like, Halt! What are you doing out here? I thought I told you to kill a dragon. Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, that's what I would say if I was him. I'd be like, really? I, I give you my things, I give you permission to stay here, and the first thing you do is fucking escape my jail. Apples. I like how apples actually feed you. Debilitated? What? That has to do with stamina or something. It's, it can't be something to do with uh, everything else. I'm guessing I just can't use my stamina. Or it has to do with the magic. I've, I've been seeing that thing deplete this whole time. I've been over encumbered. But oh well. Let's also quick save real quick. 
Another thing that would be helpful too is like certain areas, especially if you do quests, uh, their houses become allied too. So I get to use that to um, my advantage. But yep, I think we got everything over here. We'll have to check the, uh, the, the chef cooking station place area thing. Damn, there's so much ugh, food up here. I turned into Rick for a minute. Oh, that's cool, I can pick that stuff. Mine. More stuff to take. I can take that too, nice. I'll take that. Leak, leak. Potato, potato, leak. Potato, 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 potato. Making me want to have potatoes. <laughs> Is there anything down here to take? I mean, we could probably cook some stuff. <laughs> the things we do for greed, man. Jeez. Especially since we actually take character problems now. Like, that'd be a bitch and a half. Yeah, let's make a bunch of these since I can. And these actually in store uh, more points in the health as well, which is cool. So I guess it's a good thing to cook meals. Venison, nice. Dog meat. Is that why we have dog meat in uh, Fallout 4? Because there's dog meat in this game? It's like, yeah, what's a dog? Dog meat? Yeah, let's name him that. You know, maybe someone will notice the Easter egg. So I'm pretty sure Fallout 4 came after this game. So I remember we were waiting on either, like, either another new Elder Scrolls or a Fallout series. So, I mean, it's like two different games, but by the same people and played the same way, just about. So, I mean, you're almost playing the same game, just one of them is more modern. So, it's like Skyrim is like medieval Fallout, pretty much. Oh, I'll take that. Somebody want to grab a bowl of this food, though. But for now, not right now. There's so much stuff to take, and the fact that we're going through the whole house too is gonna be something. What time is it? Five in the morning. I don't even know if they're gonna let me in most of the area at this time, anyway. Salmon. Maybe. Take that. Nice. A little bit more here. Must are trying not to fall off and get hurt in the process. My stamina is not really helping me. <laughs> if anything, my character is getting a workout for real. I think I already grabbed up all the ra rabbit meat. Alright. So once again, let's go see if I can make any food out of this. Hopefully I can. And... Oh, vegetable soup. Nice. Oh yeah, those tomatoes paid off. Sweet. Nice. So yeah, now we go check down here. I'm pretty sure it was like an Ebony Blade quest or something like that. I was connected to this spot. I forget which side of Adobe, it's like the children are like, oh yeah, like our brother's been talking to a sword. It's a little weird. I don't believe him though. And then the sword just starts speaking like, hello, I am the Daedra Goddess Hoimanoi. Something like that. Uh, yep. So much stuff. But yeah, just think about it, guys. Like, this may be somewhat boring to most people, but if you're actually in this environment, like, you're gonna have to survive. You can, you gotta take all of this stuff, man. You need it. You're trying to get more power and trying to become a better fighter. You need food to survive. You need all kinds of shit. Better armor. You name it. Let's see how we 
Weapons empty, empty. Uh, yeah, this is where that uh, quest starts. I think you have to be a certain level, though. Let's try to go through the door, and won't let you. So I think once you're higher level, they go, hey, you know, this is quest. Her noise is over here, and it's like, oh, yes, warrior, come over here. I have a sword that I wish to give you, but the kid is not strong enough, but you are. The kid may grow stronger in the future, but for now, I have you to deal with. So, please use me. This is like, we need a feast on blood. And then somebody says something, uh, I forgot who said it, but it said, like, don't use that sword, it's, uh... Daedric evil. It'll only corrupt you in the process. But to be honest, though, you know, the sword doesn't really influence what you do. Like, you could be next to people, it won't be like, oh yeah, kill stuff. I think it only talks after you feed it to like uh, five people or something. Hey, don't you go tracking your dirty boots on my clean floor. Mm. Oh, thanks for the food, though. I really didn't know I could take this much from the Yarrow after meeting him. <laughs> I really thought that I had to become more of a friend before I do that. But nope, I tell him, hey, uh, Aldvar, he says, there's a dragon. There's a dragon? Feel free to use my own bed. Like, damn, bro. I'm gonna have so much shit to sell. I just really hope that we walk away with better armor though, something that can keep me warm in the snow. Nothing that keeps me too warm, but you know, something that will actually keep me almost invulnerable to it. Are you feeling all right? Uh, you look I mean, a little. Oh. Little what? I think that's the other book I picked up. Oh shit! I might just be a I didn't even notice she was lords, there. But don't think for a moment. Man, I don't through the door, I didn't even see her. It was just like, oh. As the Jarl himself takes his. <laughs> Sneaky bitch. Uh. Oh man. I can't wait to go to bed. Ah! I can't wait to go to bed after this. I charge my phone too, and I use that motherfucker for my alarm. I just keep it out in case if I get a text message from my woman. Just never know something might go down, or you know, much like me, you know, I get spikes of loneliness and I want to talk, or you know, I miss hearing her voice or something. It might be a phone call, or whatever. I'm usually one to kind of mind my own business though, so like, I can go dates without talking, but like after like a good day or two, I'm just like, hey, have a hair for you, hope you're doing alright, you know, talk to me when you can. And like, a couple days later, I'd be like, hey, no call, i start calling you now. <laughs> That's usually how I work, I'm a weird guy. Let's see, 15 points, uh, how many points does this do? Restore one health a point per second for 720 seconds. That does sound good. Restore 380 points of hunger. God oh, damn. Let's eat all these tomatoes. How goes my food? Ah, you were well fed. Good. Yep, this is why we mass production my loot. So I can get all these things. Uh, Jarl, it's still daytime, so I imagine you'll let me run around in your personal belongings still. <laughs> Don't mind me, just taking absolutely everything you have. I just wish this guy had like a treasury or something that I could sneak into, that'd be cool. I know that uh, Markarth has something like that, which is cool. Oh, oh shit. Whew. Fano, we are so lucky. Good thing no one saw that. I would be in trouble right now. Let's see what I'm... 
And the best part though is like make sure that you're in stealth mode when you take stuff like that. <laughs> but I didn't know I was just walking around. I, I, first thing I saw was an item and I just assumed, yep, press the button. Take it now. Oh, that's... <clears throat> I actually kind of wish that NPCs would make fun of my looting. They'd be like, hmm, you wear a little more company in my chambers. You wouldn't happen to be taking everything I allow you to touch, are you? Like, that's no problem, but a little excessive, don't you think? Or, like, at least have, like, some kind of mercenary lady be like, ha! Ah, you're over in cover. It seems somebody needs money. Oh, you're so poor, you disgust me. <laughs> yeah, give me some dialogue like that at least. I think that would make things interesting. <sighs> it goes back to Dragon's Reef. Yep, so I'll be going through that door at some point. I do like the one mission though that you uh you actually have to come in here by mandatory. You have to come up to the URO and tell them like, hey man, like, well, we need to visit the Greybeards. Like, where they at? And he's just like, oh, so you're the Dragon Boy? Then they called for. The Greybeard search is very important. One of the new servants? Father says I'm too young to drink meat so rare. So I practice with my fists. Absurd that you can good sweet rolls. Father and says I'm too young to drink meat so rare. So I practice with my fists. Or lavender. Oh, I can't wait to sell all this. I'm so excited. Like my money right now? What's it? 963? I'm gonna have so much. I'll probably be able to go back to the uh, town we started at and just sell even more because of how much shit I'm picking up from this which is awesome plus I'm picking up gold my biggest hope though is that like when I go to a merchant sometimes these things lose their value and then I can just sell it I hate when it does that oh this stuff looks good making me hungry I still have yet to eat dinner too Loot. I just want to make sure I get this task done and then I'll eat. And to be honest, I'm not really hungry anyway, so it's not a necessity. But maybe after all is done, I'll eat some cereal or something. I'm down for something basic. Doesn't need to be a whole ass meal. I'm fine with a cereal. Need supplies? See Bellathor at his store. See Bellathor. Man, but he has good stock. I should talk to this guy. Dude, this room is huge. Or meat, or meat. Out to white, out to white. And this place is just covered in guards. Let me actually see if I got any better armor out of that. Something that gets me more warmth. Nope. Not a thing. Isn't that just great? Yeah, let us take all of this. Don't mind me. I'll mind now. This must be the Jarl's quarters. Hey. Oh shit! You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? I think I'd rather submit. <laughs> I just didn't know that that was stealing. Sorry. To... I'll have to come back here. <laughs> Shit. But that means it's gonna be another walk. That's gonna suck. Yeah, this guy has 10 gold. Which is cool because every time you come back after jailing, you can uh, keep that gold. Which, you know, in theory, this stuff would just stack how much money you got. I think it does lower your stats a bit and makes you more hungry a lot sooner. I think. So we should see um I'm packaged very soon. Yeah, good part of though this area is warm, so uh, my coldness will fade. But yeah, the good part though about playing survival though here, uh, I'm actually making use of a lot of armors that I would have never used before. Which is actually a pretty fun experience, because uh, a lot of these head pieces, gloves, and whatnot, 
I usually would barely even ever wear at the beginning of my game plan. I would go straight to glass armor, or elven armor, or whatever. You know, stuff like that. But here we are doing all these different kind of things, which is awesome. And since I did grab a bunch of food uh, before we head back down, I want to make a bunch of potions. If I can. I hope I can. Damn, I can't make nothing. <laughs> we just grabbed a shit ton of oranges and stuff, though, man. What the fuck? There's all these out. Oh, salmon. Did I grab the salmon? I don't think I grabbed the salmon. So we cleared out everything else here. Oh, nope, I did take it. Good. Yeah. And in case of them ever, like, really stinging for money, I can probably sell the food, too, but I'd rather keep it. Because every bit counts in case if I get hungry on missions and stuff. <coughs> but, yep. On the plus side, though, we got plenty of stuff. Which is awesome. Which is why I want to keep recording until I manage to get rid of all of this. Or at least go through every merch and I can show me getting better equipment. Because this is all part of the survival th uh, challenge anyway. You know, getting every bit that we can. And there's no point in not recording this, you know, because if it's survival, we need to show every inch of stuff that we do. It can be the tiniest thing to the largest. Also, is Sylvester doing shit? Where did someone knock on my door? Hmm. Now, sometimes he pauses water. I do know it's like 10 o'clock, too. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it was just my cat. I actually want to drink a soda right now. I don't think I've drunk anything in the past. Like, I think I've been playing for like four hours, maybe. I haven't ate or drank anything. Usually, as soon as I get home, I go through soda, milk, tea, water. I go through them all. Hello, sir. Disrespect the law, and you disrespect me. Yeah, yeah. At some point, I'll be able to kill all you guys. I'm just not that strong right now. I'm just trying to think of what's the strongest companion, too. So, no, Ayla is indestructible, kick ass forever. Um, there's a couple other people that are good allies, too. Since they haven't gone to that room yet, haven't fully conquered this room either. And I think that there's a balcony, which is that door, I think. But for now, let's just check out what's going on here. I'll take that, thank you. Anything on a shelf? Nothing, okay. This man got a lot of books, though. I stole something again. But yeah, on the plus side, though, we're making more money. Top? Nope. Lots of ingots, but someone just saw me. Oh, that was a cupboard. Nice. Alright, time to take every book. Unless the one counts as stealing again. Because sometimes in those super, super important books, you counts as stealing. That happened before I start reading shit. So it doesn't really tell you if you're not allowed to read it or not. And then you don't have an option like put it down. Let me actually try that. Oh no, you do. So I could actually read books without taking them. I didn't even know that. <laughs> Whoops. My gameplay could have been very different in the past. But hey, at least now I know. So I mean, if I ever. I don't think they'll come up as red, but if they ever do. At least I'll know. Troll slang. Empire. Oblivion crisis. More than septum. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my god. There's so much to sell. 
Okay, on top. Mammoth tusk. That could be good for health.